Hello, today we'll be going to practice questions 1 to 10 for the CompTIA Data Plus exam. Let's begin. A data analyst is creating a report that will provide information about various regions, products, and time periods. Which of the following formats would be the most efficient way to deliver this report? The correct answer is D, a dashboard with filters at the top that the user can toggle. This is the most efficient because dashboards allow users to dynamically adjust views by selecting regions, products, or time periods without needing separate static files or pages. It avoids duplication, reduces maintenance, and provides interactive flexibility so users can explore the data themselves. Why the other options are incorrect? A. A workbook with multiple tabs for each region. This requires duplicating the same layout for each region, making maintenance harder. If new regions are added, more tabs must be created, which is less efficient. B. A daily email with snapshots of regional summaries. Emails are static and quickly become outdated. They don't provide interactivity or the ability to filter across different products or time periods. C. A static report with a different page for every filtered view. This leads to excessive duplication, creating large and unwieldy reports. It's inefficient because every combination of region, product, and time would need its own page. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following best describes the issue in which character values are mixed with integer values in a dataset column? The correct answer is D. Invalid data type. This is because when character values are mixed with integer values in the same column, the column does not maintain a consistent data type. This inconsistency can cause errors in analysis, since most tools expect the column to be either numeric or text, not both. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Duplicate data. Duplicates mean repeated records or values, not mixing of data types. B. Missing data. Missing data refers to null or blank values, not mismatched character and numeric entries. C. Data outliers. Outliers are extreme or unusual numeric values, not strings being mixed in with numbers. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following is a process that is used during data integration to collect, blend, and load data? The correct answer is B. ETL ETL is the process used during data integration to collect, blend, clean, standardize, and load data into a target system like a data warehouse. It's the standard workflow for moving and preparing data for analysis. Why the other options are incorrect? A. MDM this is about ensuring consistency and accuracy of key business data across systems, not the actual process of collecting and loading data. C. OLTP. This refers to real-time transaction systems, not data integration processes. D. BI. BI refers to analyzing and reporting on data to support decision making, not the integration process itself. Therefore, the correct answer is B. An analyst has received the requirements for an internal user dashboard. The analyst confirms the data sources and then creates a wireframe. Which of the following is the next step the analyst should take in the dashboard creation process? The correct answer is C. Get stakeholder approval. After creating a wireframe, the next step is to validate it with stakeholders. This ensures the dashboard design, layout, and plan metrics meet business needs before investing time in development. Skipping this step could lead to rework if the dashboard does not align with expectations. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Optimize the dashboard. Optimization comes later, after the dashboard has been built and tested, not at the wireframe stage. B. Create subscriptions. Subscriptions are only set up once the dashboard is complete and in use. D. Deploy to production. Deployment happens after design, development, testing, and approval are finished, not immediately after wireframing. Therefore, the correct answer is C. A company's marketing department wants to do a promotional campaign next month. A data analyst on the team has been asked to perform customer segmentation, looking at how recently a customer bought product, at what frequency, and at what value. Which of the following types of analysis would this practice be considered? The correct answer is D. Cluster. This practice is an example of cluster analysis, especially RFM segmentation. It groups customers into clusters based on how recently they purchased, how often they purchase, and how much they spend. 
This helps marketing teams target promotions more effectively. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Prescriptive. Prescriptive analysis suggests what actions to take, but here, the task is about segmenting customers, not prescribing actions. B. Trend. Trend analysis looks at data changes over time, not grouping customers based on purchasing patterns. C. Gap. Gap analysis identifies the difference between current and desired performance, not customer segmentation. Therefore, the correct answer is D. A publishing group has requested a dashboard to track submissions before publication. A key requirement is that all changes are tracked, as multiple users will be checking out documents and editing them before submissions are considered final. Which of the following is the best way to meet this stakeholder requirement? The correct answer is A. Display the version number next to each submission on the dashboard. This directly addresses the requirement that all changes be tracked. By showing version numbers, users can clearly see which revision of a submission they are viewing, ensuring transparency and accountability during the editing process. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Present a data refresh rate at the top of the dashboard. This only shows when the dashboard data was last updated, not the version history of submissions. C. Confirm the dashboard is adhering to the corporate style guide. Aesthetic consistency does not help with tracking document changes. D. Use permissions to ensure users only see certain versions of the submissions. Permissions control access but do not provide visibility into version history, which is the key requirement here. Therefore, the correct answer is A. The number of phone calls that call center receives in a day is an example of... The correct answer is D. Discrete data. The number of phone calls is countable whole numbers. This makes it discrete data since you cannot receive half a phone call. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Continuous data. Continuous data can take any value within a range. Phone calls are whole counts, not continuous. B. Categorical data. Categorical data represents groups or labels, not counts. C. Ordinal data. Ordinal data involves ranked categories, not raw numerical counts. Therefore, the correct answer is D. A data analyst is asked to create a sales report for the second quarter 2020 board meeting, which will include a review of the business's performance through the second quarter. The board meeting will be held on July 15, 2020, after the numbers are finalized. Which of the following report types should the data analyst create? The correct answer is A. Static. Since the report is for a board meeting on a fixed date and based on finalized numbers through Q2, the best choice is a static report. It provides a fixed snapshot of performance that won't change, ensuring all board members review the same finalized data. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Real-time. Real-time reporting updates continuously, but the board requires finalized, unchanging Q2 numbers. C. Self-service. Self-service reports allow users to explore data on their own, but this isn't appropriate for a formal board meeting requiring a finalized report. D. Dynamic. Dynamic reports update based on filters or interactions. This could introduce inconsistencies, whereas the board needs one fixed version. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following would be considered non-personally identifiable information? The correct answer is A. Cell phone device name. A device name by itself is not considered personally identifiable information because it does not uniquely identify a person without being combined with other data. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Customer's name. This directly identifies an individual, making it PII. C. Government ID number. This is highly sensitive PII that uniquely identifies an individual. D. Telephone number. This is directly tied to a person and can be used to contact or identify them, so it is PII. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following is the correct data type for text? The correct answer is B. String. A string is the correct data type for text. It represents sequences of characters such as words, sentences, or alphanumeric values. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Boolean. This represents only two values, true or false, not text. C. Integer. This represents whole numbers, not text. D. Float. This represents decimal numbers, not text. Therefore, the correct answer is B. We have come to the end of today's video. 
If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.